In part B of this experiment, we'll be performing a microscale crystallization of our impure sulfonilamide using a Craig tube. And this is our Craig tube. And this is our Craig tube plunger. And it inserts into the top of the Craig tube like so. And we need to weigh out approximately 100 milligrams of our impure sulfonilamide Note the color of the impure sulfonilamide and transfer that approximately 100 milligrams to our Craig tube. The mass of impure sulfonilamide that we will be adding to our Craig tube is 0 0.1005 grams. I've transferred our approximately 100 milligrams of impure sulfonilamide to our Craig tube. And then I've also added two to three milliliters of 95% ethanol to a test tube and brought it to boiling on an aluminum block on a hot plate. You need to also be sure to add a boiling stone to your test tube with the 95% ethanol. Now that our 95% ethanol is boiling inside of our test tube, we can begin dissolving our impure sulfonilamide in our Craig tube using the boiling hot solvent. And we first need to add two to three drops of our boiling hot solvent to our impure sulfonilamide in our Craig tube before placing the Craig tube on the aluminum block. And we want to be sure that we bring our solvent to boiling in our Craig tube and we'll stir our solvent and impure sulfonilamide mixture using a micro spatula. You need to mix the impure sulfonilamide solid with the hot 95% ethanol solvent using the micro spatula for 10 to 15 seconds. After that time, you need to check to see if all of your impure sulfonilamide has dissolved in the solvent. If it is not yet dissolved, you need to add very small amounts of hot 95% ethanol to the Craig tube until all of the impure sulfonilamide has dissolved. Remember, you want to dissolve your solid in the minimum amount of hot solvent. Once you have dissolved all of your solid in the hot solvent, remove your Craig tube from the heat and insert into a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. And then we'll insert the plunger to the Craig tube and allow our solution to cool to room temperature slowly. Once it appears the crystallization is no longer occurring at room temperature, we'll transfer our Craig tube to an ice water bath to complete crystallization. Once crystallization has completed in our ice bath, we need to separate the crystals from the mother liquor in our Craig tube by centrifugation. To do this, we first need to secure a copper wire to our Craig tube plunger. And we're going to do that by wrapping the copper wire around the thinner part of our plunger and then just twisting to secure the copper wire to our plunger, just like this. We can then insert the plunger first 
into an upside down centrifuge tube. We'll then fold the extending end of our copper wire up over the side of the centrifuge tube and flip the entire assembly right side up. We'll then insert our centrifuge tube into the centrifuge and we also need to make sure that we insert a balance on the opposite side of the centrifuge. We can then centrifuge our Craig tube assembly to separate the crystals from the mother liquor. While our Craig tube assembly is centrifuging, we need to pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of our watch glass is 35.3630 grams. Once the centrifuge is stopped, we can remove our Craig tube assembly from the centrifuge and we're going to use the copper wire to lift our Craig tube assembly from the centrifuge tube. And you can see that our crystals are sitting on top of the Craig tube plunger. We're now going to transfer our crystals to our pre-weighed watch glass. We'll now determine the mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our purified sulfonilamide crystals. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our purified sulfonilamide crystals is 35.4380 grams. We'll now determine the melting point of our impure sulfonilamide starting material and our crystallized and purified sulfonilamide. This concludes part B of this experiment.